all that white vans, in particular the Vauxhall Vivaro, the Nissan Prima Star and the Renault Traffic. New models were launched in 2006, costing up to £20,000. They've become hugely popular for small businesses. Three different manufacturers, three different bodies, but one common problem. A major design flaw that's costing white van drivers thousands. <laughs> White vans, driven all over the country by plumbers, builders, locksmiths or landscapers. They're a national institution. There are hundreds of thousands of these light commercial vehicles on our roads. And if you make your living as a tradesperson, the chances are that your business relies on one of them to survive. And that means keeping it in working condition is vital. Emma Richards used hers to supply audiovisual equipment to schools. Her white van of choice, a two-litre diesel Vauxhall Vivaro, bought brand new for £14,000 in 2008. We wanted a van which was going to be reliable. We thought we'd just we'd buy a new one so we'd have that protection. But after four years and 107,000 miles, the engine stopped working. Diagnosis? The four fuel injectors had blown. The fuel injectors do exactly as the name promises. They inject fuel into the engine in a very precise quantity and timing. If they fail, it should be a relatively simple fix. Your mechanic removes the broken injectors, replace them with new ones, and that's that. The whole thing shouldn't cost more than a few hundred pounds. But getting them replaced on Emma's Vivaro proved to be neither simple nor cheap. She was told the four injectors couldn't be removed because somehow they'd become fused to the engine. We were pretty shocked when we were given a quote for nearly £5,000. The only solution that the garage could give us was to replace the entire engine. And it turns out that the cause of the fuel injectors fusing is a design fault widely known across the motoring industry. Expert mechanic Mike O'Sullivan agreed to demonstrate using a 2008 Vauxhall Vivaro like the one owned by Emma and a watering can. Whenever it rains, the water runs down the windscreen towards a metal panel which holds the wipers. This panel is supposed to be watertight, but as you can see, on some 2-litre diesel Vivaros, the seal doesn't do its job, allowing the rainwater to leak through into the engine. So the rainwater's come underneath the panel, through the seal, and you can see the water is dripping from this point down onto the cover on the top of the engine. In these engines, the fuel injectors sit right underneath that cover, in the middle of a trough. If the water begins to collect there, it's extremely difficult for it to drain away, meaning the metallic injectors can become submerged. It holds the water next to the injectors, which then is causing the corrosion between the engine and the injectors themselves. Then, over time, as the fuel injectors rust, they eventually begin to fuse with the surrounding metal, leaving them extremely difficult to remove. An awful lot of damage, all caused by the faulty seal on a panel at the bottom of the windscreen. This is a major design flaw with these vehicles. The seal they've been using is not fit for the purpose. And yet, when Emma complained, Vauxhall denied all responsibility. They said that they didn't know of this problem and that there was nothing they would do as a result. We feel that Vauxhall's attitude towards us was absolutely appalling. But we've discovered that this isn't just a problem with the two-litre diesel Vivaro, because this vehicle shares its engine and design with two other models by different manufacturers, the Nissan Primestar and the Renault Traffic. The three manufacturers started producing two-litre diesel versions of the Vivaro, Primastar and Traffic in 2006. Other than cosmetic differences, the three are pretty much identical. And that means that the seal, which is meant to stop water getting into the engine, is also a problem on some of those vans too. Florist Lisa Scott bought her 2008 two-litre diesel Renault Traffic for her deliveries. After 43,000 miles, the van broke down, and her mechanic identified faulty fused injectors as the problem. All attempts to remove them failed. We've just felt just absolutely gutted that it, we weren't able to get the injectors out and get the problem fixed. Lisa went to Renault to ask for their help, but just like Vauxhall, it refused to accept liability, telling Lisa she'd have to pick up the £6,000 cost of replacing or fixing the engine. 
In the end, she was forced to sell the van for parts. Nobody was willing to take responsibility for the fact that I had a van that was originally worth £10,000 and was now virtually, I thought, worthless. So what about the Nissan Prima star? This is plasterer Gary Harris. He'd only done 27,000 miles in his 2008 model when it broke down and a fuse broken injector was discovered. When I went to um, Nissan with this problem, they explained to me there was a 50-50 chance of removing the injector. If they couldn't remove the injector, i.e. it broke, then uh, the worst case scenario, which was their words, it would then cost me um, £5,800 plus VAT. I mean, it was staggering. I would never in my wildest dreams thought it was going to cost me that amount of money. Gary managed to keep the Prima Star going for another 3,000 miles before a second injector went, finally forcing the van off the road. In the end, Gary found a specialist mechanic who did manage to remove the broken fused injectors without destroying the engine. How? Well, it turns out the problem is now so well known in the industry that specialist tools have been developed that can be attached to a hydraulic device and used to remove the fused fuel injectors. By using one of these, a mechanic was able to get Gary's Prima Star going for just over a thousand pounds. But he feels he shouldn't have to pay a penny. That is Nissan's fault, not mine. So why, is, why should I, as a customer, have to pay all that money for something that is initially their fault? So if this problem is so widespread that a special piece of kit has had to be invented to help put it right, what should these three manufacturers be doing about it? Vauxhall, Nissan and Renault joined forces to produce these vans and engines. Now there's no question there's a problem. They need to join forces again, but this time to put it right. Ginny Buckley reporting there. Now, tonight, an admission from all three manufacturers that there is a problem with the fuel injectors fusing on a limited number of these vans. Now, Nissan says it affects Prima Stars produced between May 2006 and September 2009. It's now offered to refund Gary the full cost of his repairs. Renault says the problem occurs when the seal has been positioned incorrectly. It affects some traffic vans built between August 2006 and January 2010. Although Vauxhall denies it's a design fault, it does admit the injectors can fuse if the seal is damaged by external factors on some of its pre-2014 vans. It says it told Emma she would have received support if she took her Vivaro to a Vauxhall garage, but this is a claim Emma rejects. All three manufacturers say that instances of this damage are rare, but that over the last couple of years they have put extended warranties in place to cover the costs of some or all of the repairs. We've put full details of who qualifies up on our website. But what about the people who'd already paid to have their vans repaired by the time the extended warranties were introduced? Well, tonight, all three manufacturers have agreed on a case-by-case -case basis to issue refunds, depending on the age and mileage of the van and providing it was repaired by an authorised dealer. The numbers you need to make your claim are all on your screens now and on our website. There are hundreds of thousands of pounds at stake so get calling and let us know if you have a problem. Keep your stories coming in. In the meantime, here are a few more.